Ambassador-designate of the Republic of Cuba to St. Lucia, His Excellency Alejandro Simancas Marin, presented letters of credence to Governor-General of St. Lucia, His Excellency Sir Emmanuel Neville Snack, on Monday. He highlighted that the country's bond continues to grow from strength to strength, with collaboration in the various sectors including infrastructure, education and sports. It has represented for us a high sense of solidarity or our contribution from our humble capabilities to the social and economic development of San Lucia. Because of this, we are proud to highlight, highlight that 460 San Lucians doctors have graduated from Cuba and they today attend to their population. To this figure, others are continually being added, as well as the 154 young people who are presently studying medicine in Cuba. A brigade of health professionals permanently works on the island, and over the last four years, they have treated to more than 187,000 patients, patients and have performed close to 9,000 operations, saving more than 500 lives. St. Lucia established diplomatic ties with Cuba on the 23rd of August 1979, just six months after the attainment of independence on the 22nd of February 1979. Governor General His Excellency Sir Emmanuel Neville Snack indicated that despite the two nations strengthening ties, many avenues have been left unexplored. As we approach our 40th anniversary, I say to you in words that none can mistake that Cuba has been a great blessing to St. Lucia. Her generosity has been remarkable and felt throughout the Caribbean be it in the field of medicine, agriculture, engineering, or education. And I therefore, all reservations cast aside, say the time has come for us, the people of the Caribbean, to pay our debt to Cuba. In the meantime, the Caribbean should explore avenues conducive to trade, be they in pharmaceuticals or agriculture, a plethora of other opportunities, no doubt, existing among us. Ambassador-designate of the Republic of Cuba to St. Lucia, His Excellency Alejandro Simancas Marin, replaces former Ambassador His Excellency Jorge Sobren Luis, who received the award of Medal of Honor before his departure. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.